Jesus gives you a living hope, a hope that cannot die, a hope that cannot fade. But maybe right now you are struggling. You don't know if you can hold on. I want to read you a fascinating verse from 1 Peter chapter 1. Though you have not seen Jesus, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. Now this is fascinating. Uh, Peter is writing this to people who are suffering. He's writing this to people who are struggling. And he says, you do believe in him. Not you might, not that you should try to, but just, just you do. This is a straight out fact. How can you write that? Well, it's because he's writing to believers. Now you have a sinful nature, and that sinful nature hates Jesus. That sinful nature hates God. But you are not your sinful nature. You are a new creation, and your new creation rejoices in Jesus. Your new creation trusts Jesus and has that living hope. Period. And when you are weak, it is not about how strongly you hold on to Jesus, but how he holds on to you. This is a living hope. It's a hope that lives and thrives and grabs on to you. And so when your hope dies, you have a living hope in Jesus who holds on to you.